in Zen they say, if something is boring after two minutes, try it for four. If still boring, try it for eight. Sixteen. Thirty-two. And so on. Eventually one discovers that it's not boring at all, but very interesting. In 1948, Cage and Cunningham made their first of several visits to the Summer Institute of Black Mountain College in North Carolina, known for its lively atmosphere and experimental curriculum. Many creative people were on the faculty at that time, among them Joseph Albers and Buckminster Fuller. Faculty and students often performed together in numerous experimental productions. It was at Black Mountain College that Cage and Cunningham first met painter Robert Rauschenberg. Maturing artistically, working with uh, uh, John and Merce, actually gave me license to do anything. They had permission, thanks to Cage's uh, influence as a person uh, and as an artist, uh, to, to do what they liked, to paint, in the case of John's, uh, a, an American flag or a, or a target. Uh, in the case of Rauschenberg, uh, used uh, stuffed animals in his paintings. They looked at the world again and not at themselves and tried to convey uh, what the world was about. So he was a liberating influence. He was always there and one trusted him to do the right thing. You know, He, he has immense authority. He is, after all, a guru. And the fact, just the fact that he was there and, uh, with his fantastic assurance uh, was important to us all, you know. The first work in which Cage, Cunningham, and Rauschenberg joined forces was the dance Minutia in 1954. With Cunningham's choreography, Cage's music, and sets and costumes by Rauschenberg. I was trying to, uh, I even tried uh, uh, helium balloons because there was nothing to hang it from. He wanted to jump over it, pass through it, <laughs> crawl under it, and it shouldn't weigh anything for traveling. That's all right. Very simple restrictions. <laughs> Just like in Costa, he didn't want to know that he was wearing anything. <laughs> but he had to be covered. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that, wasn't that, it, it, see, that's where John, John, as I envy John, because he could, he could, he could, you know, he could throw any kind of sound on top of anything, you know, and, and everybody would either ignore it or admire it or hate it. <laughs> In 1982, Cage prepares for an upcoming performance of Speech, written in 1955 for five radios and readers. 